Are you tired of your Spotify setup looking boring and bland? The design feels outdated, lacks key features, and those annoying ads make it even worse. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform your Spotify setup from this to this. We'll be using Spicetify for this setup, a completely free tool that offers a wide variety of customization options to truly make Spotify your own. And the best part? You can remove all ads completely for free, making your Spotify experience a lot more enjoyable. So let's jump right in and get started. The first and one of the most important steps is to check where your Spotify app is installed from, either the Microsoft Store or the official Spotify website. To do this, open up your Microsoft Store and search for Spotify. If you see an open button, it means your app is installed from the Microsoft Store. In that case, you'll need to uninstall it first, as Spicetify only works with the version downloaded from the official Spotify website. Once you've removed Spotify from the apps, simply open your browser and type in Spotify Download. This will take you to the official Spotify website where you can download the app directly. Open up the downloaded.x file to start the installation process. I won't walk you through every single step since it's straightforward and pretty unnecessary to show. Once the installation is complete, simply log into your account and you're good to go. In this next step, we're going to download the Spicetify application. Simply search for Spicetify in your browser and click on the first link that appears. Once you're on the website, scroll down until you find the Install Now button. Right here, you'll see that you need to install the app by typing a command into your command prompt. Don't worry, it's a simple process and I'll guide you through it step by step. Copy the first command listed for the Windows installation. This is the command we'll use to download and set up Spicetify on your system. Now go ahead and open the PowerShell application by typing it into your Windows search bar. Once it's open, simply paste the command directly into the command line and hit enter to start the installation. Let's wait for the installation process to fully complete. During this step, you'll be prompted to confirm whether you want to install themes and extensions. Simply type Y and press enter to proceed. As you can see, all the files for extensions and themes have been successfully downloaded. Once the command line displays Spotify is now spiced up, you're all set. You can now go ahead and start Spotify to see the changes. At first glance, you might not notice any changes, but you'd be mistaken. Up here in the top left corner, you'll now see a shopping cart icon. Go ahead and click on it. As you can see, you now have a variety of options to spice up your Spotify. In the top bar, you can switch between extensions, themes, snippets, and apps, allowing you to fully customize your experience. In each category, you'll find a wide range of powerful tools that can help you customize and enhance your Spotify experience. To make things easier, I'll guide you through some of the best and most useful tools available. We'll start with extensions, which allow you to add extra features to Spotify that aren't available by default. Now let's scroll down and explore some of the available extension packs. These extensions can add useful features, improve functionality, or even change how Spotify looks and behaves. This extension, called Beautiful Lyrics, allows even non-pro users to access song lyrics. Simply click the install button and select Reload Later. Later, we can simply close the app and restart it, which should work just as effectively as clicking the Reload Now button. Scroll down a bit further, and you'll find an extension called Adblockify. This one has to be one of my favorites, as it removes those annoying ads right on Spotify's homepage. Just click Install here as well, and select Reload Later. As you can see, there are no more ads on the home screen now, which makes the whole Spotify experience a lot cleaner. And if you look in the right bottom corner, you can see a whole new button, which is for the beautiful lyrics extension. If you hit play now, the lyrics float smoothly on the screen and the background adapts to match the album cover, giving everything a fresh and dynamic look. I'd say that covers the extensions for now. Let's move on to the themes part. Here, I'll walk you through two different options that I personally really like. To get started, just scroll down a bit until you come across a theme called Hazy Astromations. It's my second favorite because it brings a calming, cosmic vibe to your interface. Here it is. I'll go ahead and download it, then click reload later. Now, if you restart the app, you can see that the background changed. It is now in this translucent design, which is quite nice to be honest. But for this video, I want to take the time to show you my absolute favorite design. This one really stands out to me because of how it combines sleek aesthetics with a unique vibe. Let me show you real quick. Scroll up a bit, or you can simply search for a starry night in the search bar at the top to find it more easily. This one is definitely worth checking out. Stay tuned for just a little bit longer because I want to show you the best snippets before I reveal the final result. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. Scroll down just a little bit until you find a snippet called Auto Hide Friends. Honestly, I can't stand this feature in the normal Spotify version because it makes the whole appearance look so much less aesthetic. For the last step in the snippets, search for Rounded in the search bar in the top right corner. I'd recommend activating the first three that show up after the search. They really complement each other well and give your Spotify a more polished, cohesive look. Later in the video, I'll also show you how to install apps like the Listening Statistics app, so make sure to stay tuned until the end. But for now, let's restart Spotify and take a sneak peek at the stunning design we've created. Et voila, here we have the gorgeous new design. 
I absolutely love how the background is dynamic, with the stars flying through the screen, it adds such a magical touch. The rounded playlists and everything else really tie it all together perfectly, making the entire interface feel smooth and engaging. As promised before, in this last step, I'll show you how to install apps. It might take a little more time, but I'll walk you through each step carefully, so you won't miss anything. We start by going to the Apps tab at the top. As you can see, there's a wide variety of different apps you can install. However, I want to focus on the Statistics app because I think it's really cool and offers some awesome insights. You'll need to copy the link from the video description to get to this site where I am right now. It'll take you directly to the page where you can install the folder. Once you're here, make sure to download the newest version. Click on Assets to open up the necessary zip file. Install the Spicetify stats release .zip file from the list. This is the file you'll need to set up the app properly. Now open up Explorer and right click on the downloaded folder. Select Extract All then confirm by clicking Extract in the next step. The extracted folder needs to be renamed to Library for the setup to work. Simply click on the folder slowly twice to rename it, or right click select more options and then rename. Now, right click on the folder again and select Cut to move it to the correct location. This folder is now in your clipboard and I'll show you exactly where to paste it. Watch carefully because there are quite a few steps until we reach the right destination. Start by opening this PC and navigating to your local disk C colon. Inside the local disk, select the folder named Users to proceed. Here you need to select your user folder. In my case it's called admin, but for you it's most likely named after your own username. Open the app data folder. If you can't see it, don't worry, I'll show you how to make it appear. Click on the three stripes with view next to it as shown in the video. In the drop down menu you'll now see the option show all the way at the bottom. Go ahead and click on it. In the next drop down menu select hidden items so that there's a check mark next to it. This will make the app data folder visible. Once you've done that, go ahead and open the app data folder. You should now be able to see it. In the app data folder, select roaming. Inside the roaming folder, open the Spicetify folder. Inside the Spicetify folder, go to custom apps and we're finally at the destination. Right click anywhere in the folder and select paste to place the folder in the correct location. Now, the final installation step is copying a command into your PowerShell. I'll include the command in the video description so just copy it from there. Open up PowerShell by typing PowerShell into your Windows search bar and selecting it from the results. Once PowerShell is open, press Ctrl plus V to paste the command. PowerShell will show you a warning, but just go ahead and accept it to proceed. Now just wait for the installation process to finish. Once it's done, Spotify will automatically open up by itself. As you can see, we now have a new button in the top left corner of the screen. Click on it to check out the brand new feature that's been added. You now have access to a variety of different statistics. For instance, Right here, you can see my most played artist over the past month. I can also select tracks, which lets me view the top 50 of my most listened to songs, giving you a clear overview of your listening history. The same feature applies to genres, where you can see your top genres based on your listening habits, helping you get a better idea of what you enjoy most. It's a great way to keep track of your music preferences and discover new trends. I honestly have to say, I've always been a fan of these statistics, it's almost like Spotify wrapped but even better because you can see the most accurate data throughout the entire year. It's a great way to track your music habits in real time, and it adds a whole new layer of personalization to your Spotify experience. I have to say I'm really impressed by this app, and I can definitely recommend it. It adds so much value to your Spotify experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscription to the channel. Thanks for watching.